imagine being in an interview and you were asked, tell me about a time when you had to persuade someone to see things your way. This question is a frequent guest in many interviews across various industries. It's not just asked for the sake of it, but carries significant weightage. It is a behavioral question designed to shed light on your skills of persuasion, negotiation, and problem solving. It's a window into your communication abilities and how you handle differences in opinion, resistance, or conflict. Employers want to know how you've handled such situations in the past, as it gives them an idea of how you might approach similar circumstances in the future. It's also a way for them to assess your leadership potential, seeing how you can influence and drive others towards a common goal. Now let's dive into the possible variations of this question. This question can take on many forms, and that's what we're delving into at this moment. Some variations you might encounter include Describe a situation where you had to convince a team member or a manager to adopt your idea. Or maybe it's worded as, give an example of how you've persuaded others to adopt a different perspective. These phrasings might look different, but they're asking you the same thing. They want to gauge your persuasion skills. How do you handle disagreement? Can you effectively communicate your ideas and win people over? Remember, the core question remains the same, regardless of how it's worded. It's all about your ability to influence and persuade. So, don't be thrown off if the question isn't asked verbatim in your interview. Now that we understand the variations, let's focus on what to include in our response. Your answer should tell a story. And for that story to be compelling and effective, it needs structure. This is where the STAR method comes in handy. STAR stands for situation, task, action and result. First, describe the situation you were in, providing enough detail to set the stage. Next, talk about the task at hand, what was required of you. Then, delve into the action you took. This is your chance to showcase your problem-solving prowess, your communication skills, and your ability to negotiate. But remember, it's not just about what you did, but how you did it. Finally, share the result. What was the outcome of your efforts? Did you persuade the person to see things your way? Including these key elements in your response can help paint a vivid picture in the interviewer's mind, showcasing your skills and abilities in a real-world context. Now let's look at examples of good and bad responses. It's showtime. Let's look at some examples. Now imagine this real-life scenario. You're in an interview and the recruiter throws the curveball question. Tell me about a time when you had to persuade someone to see things your way. A bad response could be, well, I generally get along with everyone, so I don't usually have to persuade people. This response is vague and doesn't give any insight into your problem-solving or persuasion skills. A good response, on the other hand, tells a story. You might say, at my last job, my team was hesitant to adopt a new software I was advocating for. I arranged a demonstration showing how it could improve our productivity by 30%. After addressing their concerns and showing the potential benefits, they agreed to try it, and we saw a significant increase in efficiency. This response is specific and demonstrates your ability to handle resistance, your persuasive skills, and your initiative to improve the team's productivity. Another bad response could be, I've never really had to persuade anyone because I'm always right. This response may come off as arrogant and does not show that you respect others' opinions or can work in a team. A better response would be, in a project with a strict deadline, I had to persuade my team to adopt a more efficient approach that was unfamiliar to them. I presented data showing the potential time savings and reassured them that I would be available for support. Eventually they agreed and we completed the project two days ahead of schedule. With these examples, you are well on your way to acing this question. But let's wrap it up with some key points. You've got this. Let's quickly recap. Remember, specific examples are your friend, and the STAR method is your guide. Situation, task, action, result. This structure keeps your response clear and persuasive. And let's not forget the golden rule, practice makes perfect. The more you practice, the more confident and impressive your responses will be. Remember, your ability to persuade is a powerful tool. Use it wisely. Good luck with your interviews. Thank you for watching. If you found value in today's video, please hit that subscribe button for more helpful content. Got questions or ideas? Comment below or connect with me on LinkedIn, especially if you're exploring opportunities or hiring. Remember, it only takes one opportunity to transform your career journey. Keep striving and stay optimistic. Your persistence will pay off. Peace and success to you.